Hey guys, I'm Pranav Shastri and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the USB 9-pin motherboard header to PCI bracket slot converter on your computer. In a previous video, I have shown the unboxing of this product, so in case you haven't seen that, you could check that out. So this is our system unit and as you can see, it has an ATX form factor. You can see that there are already 8 USB ports in total. Now we're gonna be adding two more by connecting the header bracket to the motherboard. So to start off with, we're gonna unscrew the system casing screws so that we can open up the side panel and as you can see this is our system now if you take a close look into the motherboard you will find the 9 pin USB headers there are two on this motherboard as you can see one of the 9 pin motherboard headers is already connected to the front panel USB port our motherboard has a 3.0 extension as well and I have installed a PCI Express 3.0 USB card so what you're seeing now is our USB 9 pin motherboard header to PCI bracket converter so to start installing this, we are going to unscrew the chamber opening so that we can access the individual PCI bracket opening. Now we are going to align our PCI bracket with any one of the PCI expansion slots and secure it with the screw. And as you can see, it's firmly secured now. Now coming to the connections, you can see that this is the female header which goes to the male header pins on the motherboard. And as you can see, this is a keyed connector. So one of the pins is actually blanked on our female header, which indicates the correct orientation of the connector. Now that we have finished connecting it, we are going to power on our computer and test it. You can see that the computer has successfully booted and now we are going to take a USB pen drive and insert it into the newly installed USB slot. So as you can see here, our computer is successfully recognizing the USB pen drive. So this type of installation does not need any new device drivers to be installed because we are already making use of the internal driver's header which is on the motherboard. If we were to install another USB PCI card, that is when we would need to install the device driver software as well. And with that, we have successfully installed and commissioned our 9-pin USB motherboard header. So if you enjoyed watching this video and it helped you, Please do consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel. If you encountered any difficulties, then make sure you comment that down in the comment section and I'll try my best to resolve your issue. Thanks for watching.